Hey there, just thought I would try dropping you guys a note here in an audio format. So uh, if you like the audio format, uh, hit reply below. I'm just trying out something different here. So I get a lot of questions about what is the basics of metabolic flexibility. And at its simplest level, it's training the body to be able to use both uh, fuel sources at the right times. So at its simplest level, the two main fuels the body uses is fats and carbohydrates. Of course, there's a bunch of intermediates, but we're not going to worry about that for now. To train the body how to use fat better, you want to have a low level of insulin. And this can be accomplished by a lower carbohydrate diet, since Carbohydrates are the main item that will increase your body's release of insulin, although some types of protein like whey protein will do uh, similar effects. Another way is intermittent fasting, so you're not consuming any foods, so therefore your insulin levels will be lower. When insulin levels are lower, that pushes the body more towards using fat as the fuel source. So if you're looking to get leaner, this is definitely a good thing. On the other end of the spectrum, we still want to maintain the ability to use carbohydrates. Because when we go to the gym, we need to be able to use carbohydrates and to also another degree, creatine phosphate, to be able to do maximal performance. So if you're lifting or sprinting, you want the ability of your body to effectively use carbohydrates, and the stored form of that is glycogen, which can be stored in the muscles and also the liver. You want to be able to still use those carbohydrates so that you can get the maximal amount of performance possible. So with metabolic flexibility, the key is to use the right fuel at the right time. So as you're going about your day-to-day -day activities or working in the office or whatever you're doing, primarily using fat to fuel those activities is going to be preferential. When you go to the gym to do an exercise session or you're going to perform as an athlete, you want the ability to then switch to using carbohydrates. That way you can maintain your performance and also primarily use fat and keep your body fat at a reasonable level, and also get leaner. So that's the basics of metabolic flexibility. Hopefully that uh, clears up a few things. Any questions, please post them below. Thanks again.